Yesterday, I was in a reading circle with two of my regular attendees. It was an exciting event because both of them had major read breakthroughs and made a whole ton of good reads right in a row, um, just as we sat there together. Um, and secondly, the thing that was really interesting was that both of them, although they were making really different reads, had exactly the same problem. They hadn't taken enough out of the windows. Hi, I'm Janet Ingle, the five minute read maker, and I want to talk today about the windows. The windows, or the channels, or the back, this is sort of an undersung area of the read. We pay a lot of attention to the tip and the transition, and those areas really are crucial for response and cushion and resistance, but I love my windows as well. It's the area right in here on both sides. Yeah. This area can uh, easily affect the opening of the reed and its resilience. It affects the resonance. It can affect the playing pitch. You can use it to fix a slightly too thin heart. And you can use it to lower the crow of the reed to enable you to clip. Here's how I put them in. After my tip is formed and the reed is able to beep, I draw a line at 60 millimeters, as you see here, and then I scrape right up to it. I'm focused on staying in the middle of the channel, like so, um, and not allowing my knife to encroach on the rails on the sides or the spine in the center. When I get up to that 60 millimeter line, I just stop. I remove my knife. And after I've taken a few swipes in this manner, then I'll just brush off those curls of cane that remain. I'll just go sort of sideways across to get rid of those. Can we see this? I'm always thinking about slope in my reed making, and I do want the area directly below the heart, right here, to be the thinnest part of the windows. So I'm conscious of deepening and broadening my scrape as I approach that magic line. Since I generally don't have bark in the heart, I don't mind fading the bark at the rail as I approach that heart. But I do be, but you have to be very careful not to actually damage the side of the reed because the rails there are structural and they're important. Now, if I need the opening of my reed to be smaller or I want to be able to more easily uh, collapse a springy piece of cane with my mouth, I might allow my knife to take more of that center line. Sorry, let me get to it. The spine, which is of course right here. The spine is structural too, but sometimes you can be too strong in the middle and I don't mind losing some of that strength if it means I can play with a more relaxed mouth and then more easily balance, uh, more easily nuance the dynamics and the tapers. So I'll just allow my knife to encroach in the middle a little. Now, if my uh, more finished, balanced reed feels, uh, it, it's working, but it feels too stiff or up or uh, woody is an adjective that comes up for this, um, I'll deepen and widen those windows to allow more resonance and more flexibility. This also drops the crow a bit. And that's where I am. And here's where I'm going. Um, drops the crow a little bit so that I'll be able to clip again. So deepen the windows. So now I've dropped the crow a little bit. Now I can clip and this reed should have a little bit more flexible flexibility. This, uh, by the way, is the magic trick that worked for both of my oboe friends last night. Now, if the reed feels too flexible and whiny and I deduce that the heart has gotten too thin, I can rebalance that situation by thinning the tip a little more and thinning the back a lot. The more you take out every place other than the heart, the fuller and stronger the heart thinks it is. Um, so, I mean, I've given you a couple of examples of how the windows are really useful and meaningful to your finished read. Um, I hope this has been really helpful for you. This has been a five minute read maker video. You can follow these short lessons right here on YouTube and you can subscribe to them here if you wish. If you have questions or comments for me or if you want to order reads or cane, you can find me at JanetIngle.com. I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.